Hi everyone, welcome. I'm making this video today because I have about six or seven requests on how I store my rubber stamps. So, um, meaning my unmounted rubber stamps. So I want to share with you the way that I found that works the best for me and that also works for my rubber stamps. We pay, you know, a lot of money for our rubber stamps and we really don't want to ruin them. So this is the way that I store them. And here I have a, um, a card that I made using my Copic markers and my rubber stamps. So if you want to take a look at this card further and some other of my creations, just um, go on, t on and take a look at my blog. I periodically put up my cards on my blog, not necessarily here on YouTube. So if you're interested in Copic markers and what you're able to achieve with them, as you can see, you can achieve beautiful, beautiful works of art with them. Take a look at my uh, at my blog. I am a um, certified Copric instructor, so I do have uh, lots of examples there of different things that you can achieve with uh, Copic markers. Anyway, so getting on to the request. Here I have some uh, Oxford Impressions um, stamps, and um, this particular book, I keep them in a binder, and this particular binder is for my greeting farm stamps, but I just recently got all of these Oxford imp Impressions, and I haven't made a particular folder for them yet, so I put them in here. I purchased these um, vinyl backings, and basically what you do is you can stick your stamps on here, and this is the way that once I cut them up, and as you can see, you have to cut super, super close to your image. That way you don't get any um, bumps or lines on your images when you stamp. Um, and then you place them on here. So this is the way that I like to store my stamps. As you can see. And then it's a three ring binder. And in sheet protectors, I keep the image on one side and the stamps on the other, as you can see there. So this is the way that I found to, that my stamps last. And then what I do is I stand the binder up and I leave it slightly open so that the pages aren't squished together, if that makes sense. So that's the way that I store my stamps. And then getting back to my, I have a protective sheet here and next, I have all of my greeting farm stamps. And the same, I keep the image on one side, as you can see here, of all of my images, and then the stamps right next to that. And I can probably fit three stamps here, but I don't like them touching. I don't like my rubber stamps to be um, squished in together. I feel that when you do that, you can damage the sides of your stamps, and you really don't want to do that. Like I said, once you invest in your stamps, you really don't want to um, ruin them. So that's the way that I store my rubber stamps. Here are some more. And of course, that's my how long going. Never mind that. And here are more greeting storm fan stamps here. More greeting farm. And that's the way that I store them. You can see. And like I said, you want to snip fairly close to your image. So that way you get the best stamped image. And there you go. Here's an example of how I store my stamps. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.